Well, hey, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and that makes this a perfect time to take a look at Arlo Guthrie's classic set on Thanksgiving, Alice's Restaurant. It's a nice little ragtime guitar part. It's definitely a good challenge, but not terribly hard as some of these things go. It's a pretty straightforward chord progression in the key of C, and we're using a Travis Pick style, and this is really a pure Travis pick in the sense that it's in the Merle Travis style, meaning not just are we alternating the thumb between different bass notes, but slightly muted bass, ringing trebles. So if you're familiar with a basic, what some people call a folk pick, then you might know something like this. So that's a C chord, and I'm plucking five with the thumb, two with the middle, together, and then the thumb alternates between five and four. One, two, three, four. Then I can plug in the fingers in between, or along with the thumb notes, but in this case in between, together, four, three, five, two, four, three, together, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. So part of the sound is that alternating thumb bass with melody. So you should probably be familiar at least with that folk pick or simple Travis pick to really be able to handle this tune. To take it a step further into Travis territory, I'm going to mute the basses while I let the trebles ring. So this is part of the reason that I'm using a thumb pick. I have only just recently, within the last year, started really working with the thumb pick, and I really do like it, specifically for the Travis style stuff, because it makes it a lot easier to mute those basses and let the trebles ring out. So what I'm doing is I'm resting the heel of the hand on the bridge, a little bit of bend back in the wrist, so when I pluck with my thumb, I get a slightly muted bass note but when I pluck with a finger, the treble string rings out. I'm also alternating the ring finger on this C chord between string five and string six. So, simple version of this might be something like. What we really have is a ragtime feel. It's a boom chick but also picture ragtime piano and the way the left hand bounces back and forth between a low bass note and a chord. Mm -pa, mm -pa, mm -pa, mm -pa. That's what's going on here. If I fill in the spaces like we did earlier with the simple pick, but add the muted bass and the alternating 5th string, 6th string movement, we get this. Now, to play Alice's Restaurant, we need to make it swing.
So what some people would call the shuffle rhythm, it's really just a relaxed swing. And let me go over the chord progression, and then we'll talk about the melody. A C, an A, but we do need to play the A like this. Index finger bar at the second fret, because we're going to need to reach up to the high A. And then the middle finger down here to the third fret. We're actually going to lift off there to use the open string. A D7 in the C shape. And it really a G6. Let's just call it a G. I say that because I'm not using the little finger on the high G note. I'm keeping the E string open. Back to a C. So the chord progression C. A, D7, G, C. Does the same thing again. C, A, D7, G, then C, F, an inverted D, really D7, so this is middle and ring at the 2nd fret, 6th string and 3rd string becomes D7 when the index finger goes here to the 1st fret of the 2nd string. And then C, A, D7, G, C. So it's actually a very typical old-timey progression in the key of C, and lots of songs have used this. 1, 6 dominant, 2 dominant, 5, 1. 1, 6 dominant, 2, 5, 1, to a 4, and a 2, really, dominant, 6, A7, D7, G. In fact, if I... Right, you could picture any number of tunes from the 20s or 30s with that same set of chords. It's a very typical chord progression. Now, to get a little more specific, and this is where things get interesting, we really do need a melody. As I said, the essence of the real Travis Pick style is that you can play melody ringing out on the treble strings while you get this sort of tick, tick, tick muted bass on the low strings, and also with these syncopated ragtime rhythms. So here we go. We're starting off walking up in parallel tenths. Six string G, open B, then open A, with the 2nd string C, fretted B on the 5th string, with the 2nd string D. So it's 6 and 2, 3 and 0, 5 and 1, sorry, 5 and 2, 0 and 1, 5 and 2, 2 and 3. You've probably come across this before if you play any kind of finger style at all. And it's leading us into a C chord where I'm bringing out the 5th string bass and the open E. But, check out this little swing. So it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, a 2, 3, 4, a 1. Now at this point, we're on the C chord, and so my alternating bass is going to go 5, 4, 6. But, here is a little twist. There is a transitional inverted G. Or you could really.
really just think of it as a C over B. I mean, the fact is it's a passing bass note going from C to A. It is true that these notes, the B here on the fifth string and the open G, do create a G chord, but the C note is also, I'm sorry, the G note is also in the C chord, so arguably it's just a walking bass. But here's what's going to happen. So the C, the fourth string, move over to the sixth string, and then grabbing that second fret B to set up our walk down to A. The melody is two, three, and four. I'm going to need my little finger to play that D sharp. Watch this. One, two, three, and four. It's challenging. You may need to drop your wrists a little bit in order to make that reach comfortably to get the D sharp and the low G. Here it is slowly. So it's five and two. Fourth string with the thumb. Move the ring finger over. Six and two. Get the first string. And then this is the middle finger here on the fifth string to get that bass note. Open G. So once more. One, two, three, and four, and one. Now. Index finger goes down on a bar. So I'm at the second fret with my index finger. I am covering strings four, three, and two. I'm extending the pinky so that I can reach the high A at the fifth fret. The melody is going to take us from this high A, the pinky, to middle finger on the G, and then the open E string. So watch the picking. String five with the thumb, index hits a quick third string. This is four with the thumb and one on top. Then I bring the middle finger in, five and two, lift to get the open string, hitting the fourth string with the thumb, completing the four beat sequence of one, one, sorry, one, two, three, and four. Now, the last eighth note of that measure is a C, but you're going to play it here with the pinky, fifth fret of the third string, because we're setting up this C shape D7 chord. So the pinky will go down first, ring and index will follow as a pair, landing on the fifth string at the fifth fret and the second string at the third fret. And then I follow this D note here on the second string with the open E string. And then the thumb will hit the fourth string. Middle finger at this point will have landed. So we're coming from So you see how the little finger goes down first. And then you can set up the rest of the chord. Now I'm going to pluck a quick open G, shift over here to my ring finger on the low G on the 6th string, hit 6 and 2, follow that with the open E, alternating the bass on the D string, and then index finger comes back to C to set up the return to the C chord. So that last piece, this little cadence, 2, 5, 1, is D7, G. So the last piece of that first line, this little cadence, is a 2-5-1, D7-G-C, starting with the pickup, pinky on C, fifth fret of the G string, release, so we can shift into G, second string, first string, there's your alternating thumb. So here's the first line. walking up. Now this is just like the beginning. This time just finish the quarter note and then into the D7 shape starting complete. Bass note on the fifth string played by the ring finger here, fifth fret. This is four and two. This is three. I'm gonna move my ring finger over here to the sixth string to get this A bass. Six and two. Here's one. 
Here's four with the thumb and open G. So watch this. Here's that C-shaped D7 chord, third position. Here it is again. And then this G, the last eighth note, is a pickup to this little connecting So from here, that open G, the last eighth note of the previous bar, lets me, lets me shift, sets me up to jump, land here, third fret of the sixth string, and the melody is chromatic, B, C, C sharp, D. I'm going to finger it like this. Grab the low G with ring, hit the open B string, index comes down. Open A with the thumb, middle finger gets C sharp on the second string, second fret, index gets A sharp, fifth string, first fret, pinky gets D, second string, third fret. So. So what we have is two harmonized lines of bass, G, A, A sharp, B, going with B, C, C sharp, D, and we get more parallel tenths. Notice together and then alternating thumb finger. Another quick pickup on the G. Back to this again. The difference this time is that we're not going to walk down to the A, we're going to stay on C. So my fourth note of that measure is still part of the C chord because we're staying on C for another measure to get this melody. Da, da, do, da, da. Once again, using my pinky for the D sharp on the second string, ring moves over to get that bass note, and then the pinky jumps over here, G on the third fret of the high E string. Watch, five and two. Four, one, two, six, and one, one, four, open G. There it is again. Backing up to the previous measure. Now, I'm just going to play a quick hammer on to get the G to A, my thumb is jumping down to a low F, first fret of the sixth string, and then alternating bass is just Fs, index and ring, string six to string four, first fret to third fret, just quarter notes now with this melody. to an inverted D chord, which becomes D7, middle finger, string 6, fret 2, ring finger, string 3, fret 2, pinky, string 2, fret 3, and the index is going to set up for string 2, fret 1, so we can do this. 6, 3, 4 and 2, 3, 6 and 2, 2 again, 4, and then the open third is a connector. So here's that measure again. Notice. Da dee da ba ba. So setting up from the measure before on the F. And now we return C just like before. Walking down on the B. Back to that pinky note, setting up D7. And then, as you probably know, if you're familiar with the song, it goes on for 18 minutes from there, just repeating the same thing. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. You can get everything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Walk right in, it's around the back. Just a half a mile from the railroad track, and you 
can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Now, I simplified that a little bit because I didn't play all the melody. We could just do this. Just following the chord structure, keeping that alternating bass going. And the tab is the complete version. And basically, if you want to try a simplified version of that, then you would use the same left hand chords and just leave out some of the moving parts. Relatively straightforward. But if you're trying this, it's worth the challenge of going for the whole thing. So here it is. Mm -hmm. 